How can you know all that? I told you, I like to read. And once I read something, I understand it. And once I understand it, I never forget it. Why take the bar? This dickhead bet me I couldn't pass it without going to law school. Okay, look, this is all pretty fascinating stuff, but I'm afraid I gotta get back to work. I'll make sure that Serpico isn't around waiting for you. Wait, wait, wait. Where do you think you're going? Into the room with the people. Wrong. That's the adult table in there, and you haven't earned the privilege yet. Well, I, I played air hockey with You need him. to go back to the office and file a patent for the phone. A patent? I don't know how to file a patent. Figure it out. Can't we do that after? No. And you keep talking, I'm gonna start billing you. My time runs $1,000 an hour. But isn't this our time, Mr. Hand? I stand corrected. Your fast times are Richmond high quote. That proves you belong at the adult table. Hey, that's a great movie, and it spoke to a generation. You a baseball fan? I am. Then I assume you know Lou Gehrig was a bad man. They didn't call him the Iron Horse for nothing. Then he got ALS, you know what it did to him. His hands locked up, then his legs, his speech, eventually his breathing, he couldn't control him. His mind knew what it wanted, but his body, he was trapped inside, unable to do anything. Even today, you get ALS within three to five years, you die. Or sooner if someone takes your drug and their liver fails. Our drug makes people's remaining years better, and it doubles their life expectancy. Except for the people whose livers are failing. You don't Lisa. Know. Okay. I can see why Jessica likes you. You cut through the bullshit. That's something I always loved about her. She just does it with a little less charm than I do. Isn't she a little taller than you? It's the heels. Let me tell you what it takes to get a drug approved today. We were 139 million into development before we ever hit the shelves. We jumped through every hoop they threw at us and we proved our drug was safe for eight years. So you're saying these claims are baseless? We're talking about six terminal patients with a wide array of medical issues and they're saying my company's drug caused this. They were drinking coffee on the Titanic. I don't think that put Leonardo DiCaprio in the water. Since Jessica vouched for you, I'm gonna go ahead and believe what you're telling them. Yeah. I just realized I needed to make a change. Even sold my bong. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done with my friend? You should talk. Look at you. Look like Gordon Gecko's old brother. Yeah. Are you working on Wall Street, man? What do you got to say about that, Counselor? I say Atticus Finch makes a good speech here, but this is a fender bender, not a multi-million dollar lawsuit. Vicarious liability applies to discrimination, harassment, and accidents. Employers are responsible for their employees' negligence. Court finds a reasonable suit here. Trial starts tomorrow. Why is that on my desk? Because the LSATs are a week from Saturday. Great, go away. I'm busy. There are only four tests a year, which means if you miss this one, you're gonna have to wait another three months. I can do math too, Goodwill Hunting. King Lear. I happen to like King Lear. And unlike some people I know, Lewis's references don't begin and end with Top Gun. Hey, I love Lewis, and I don't care what you say. I am not leaving my wingman. See, that's funny because that's from Top Gun. He's a wild card, flies by the seat of his pants. I think I can't call him Top Gun. Get the hell out of here. Oh, that was good. Uh, listen, Harvey, about I don't me. give advice. Okay, please, Sensei. I'm out of my league with this thing. Listen to me. Don't go to trial. It's a mock trial. I think the trial part is kind of a prerequisite. All right. Law is about control, okay? You can only control so much with a jury, judge, witnesses, and another lawyer with an ego complex. And what if the lawyer doesn't have an ego complex? Every lawyer has an ego complex. The firm has presented an exercise where there's potential for failure, okay? okay. All I'm saying is try and create a situation where that's not even a possibility. Kobayashi Maru. Koba what now? Star Trek, Captain Kirk. He wins a no-win situation by rewriting the rules. You're a Trekkie. Hey. Captain Kirk is the man, okay? I don't want to hear another word about it. Now, enough with your fake law problem. Let's deal with my real one. Aye, aye, Captain. I need you to look into Jerome's daughter. Why didn't you just hire a private investigator? Because if there's a problem, an investigator can't fix it. I'm not just a lawyer to Jerome, okay? I'm, I'm more like Robert Duvall in The Godfather. He's consigliere. Okay. <clears throat> what? Uh, nothing, just... If you're his Robert Duvall, you're coming to me, so... 
technically, I'm your Robert Duvall. You're my Fredo. Fredo? No. Something's changed in your eyes. I could see it when I walked through that door. I come here when I need to be alone. 44 Magnum? Really? Feeling lucky today, punk? Donna, can you tell me about these confidential employee codes that Lewis says Rachel used to fax the witness list over to Wakefield Katie? I have a thousand things to do before lunch. Hold Mike's hand while he crosses the street. Not one of them. Donna, this one's for Rachel. What do you need? I know we use the billing codes to charge the clients, but what do we use the employee codes for? They're special codes for when you need to use the firm's resources for personal reasons. We can do that? You can't, but Rachel can. Why? Because a fifth-year paralegal is more valuable to the firm than a first-year associate. Okay, so do you have a personal code? I have two. So where do you get them? They're generated by the IT department. We have an IT department? Oh, well, the computers don't run themselves. At least until Skynet goes active. Say I'll call No. 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 It's, I'll work really on that. bad. Maddie, Kelsey. Lewis, Harvey. Doctor, doctor. Trevi. Nice. Good meeting. Yeah, we connected you. We're on the same page. Mm. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Get out of my face. What the hell are you doing reopening this? You worried about getting caught intentionally tainting evidence? I didn't taint anything. What I did was help you put away a guilty man for brutally killing a young girl. And I'm not gonna let you drag my reputation through the gutter. Not without consequences. Are you threatening me? Because the truth is, you wouldn't even be here if you hadn't done something wrong. Me? Yeah. It's all well and good for you to drag up shit from the past, huh? You're protected by your shiny suit, right? What are you talking about? Lawyers never go after their own. Well, what is that Denzel movie? Tell it to me like I'm a five-year-old. Sometimes the good guys gotta do bad things to make the bad guys pay. <laughs>